been replaying it all in, in my head. On the screen, trying to figure it out. See if there was anything that I could have done differently. You do good work, Phil. You're a good man. We have a stalker, apparently. You couldn't do none of what you do if it wasn't for all the me's in the world. Not the first time that I've been accused of exploitation. He came to you looking for a way out. It doesn't work like that. Then you turned him away. You are the king of manipulating situations to make yourself look like the good guy. Are you the one that's been filming me? Messina and my website is musicmoviesthoughts.com. I'm a fan of you both, to be honest. Um, Cara, working, watching you and straight out of Compton, I thought your performance was definitely remarkable. I really enjoyed it. Um, and Niall, I have watched you portray crack characters that died um, two times in as many months. <laughs> like, I watched D Wiz pass away in Raising Canaan, and now we have the subject, and you portray Malcolm. Um, you know, and this movie really deals with some heavy themes. We got murder, we have exploitation, uh, racial and socioeconomic, um, you know, inequality, just to name a few. What was it that most attracted you both to this project? Um, for me, it was just the overall. Um, uniqueness to the project and um uh it was just a topic that I had never heard you know before really seen you know on on the big screen and uh yeah it, at, at the time I you know I, I feel like we knew how important the film was but just seeing the the long-term effects and how it plays into everything that we see going on today and um, you know the, these these last couple of years, it's 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 insane. It's it's literally like the project was written before its time, you know. And uh, it just um, diving into it, and the cast and crew is just a, a very important and beautiful experience, you know, to be a part of. And as a young black male. It was the roles, you know, it was one of those roles that you just aspire to play, you know, and I want to do more roles like this in the future. It's just, you know, um, very knowledgeable and it taught me a lot. Okay. Yeah. And how about you, Kara? Um, well, as an actor, I'm, I'm always drawn to stories that are positive and that shine a light on issues in our community and move the conversation forward in a positive way. And I felt like this, you know, story exemplifies that. Um, and so I was excited that um, this story was being told. And I really also like the character, even though she's not necessarily um, on the right side of that conversation, but um, I like complex characters and I like that. I also think it's it, it, these characters, these people are real. They're people that just like prioritize ambition and you know, they don't know where to draw the line when it comes to ambition and morals and ethics. And that's real too. So I just like real raw stories and stories that ultimately uh, shine a positive light on issues in our community. So this right. is awesome. Awesome. Let's talk about your character though, because um, Marley, yeah. like you said, she she <laughs> kind of was on the wrong side of things. Um, and <laughs> there was high tension between your character and um, Annabella Costas, I believe her name was Jess um, yeah. in the film. And for good reason, how challenging is it to be in a scene where there's that this type of cold energy between the two actresses and then to release it like how do you do how challenging is that um, when the scene is done? 
It definitely can be a challenge. Um, anytime you have to tap into that cold or dark energy or, you know, these unpleasant um, parts of humanity, it, it's, it can take a toll on you. Luckily, this wasn't, um, you know, I, I didn't have to stay in that space long. So it wasn't, it wasn't draining. And um, if anything, I tried to, I mean, I try to find the humanity in my characters. So I try to justify my character's actions by she thinks she's doing a good thing. And whether or not she doesn't realize that it's not that good until later, um, it remains to be seen. But but I try not to stay in that dark space too long. So I try to shake it off because it can it can wear on you as an actor. Okay, thank you. Now, how do you de-escalate after portraying such a tragic character like Malcolm? What do you do? Mm, I just try to kind of remember who I am and and remember, you know, that this is this is a responsibility that I have, you know, to mm -hmm. to present roles like like this. You know, I I um you know, I feel like the realness of it and 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 seeing how it taps into everyday life and getting feedback from people on how they can relate to, to Malcolm or even some of the roles that I've, that I've played in the past, it's, it just kind of, you know, it gives you that nod, like, okay, you know, this is, you know, you, uh, you, uh, you love doing this, you know, that, that you love doing it. Like I, I did, I'm so passionate about it, you know, but it also just gives you the tap, like, listen, this is, this is worth it. You know, your, your, your voice is getting heard and you're, you know, to, to know that you can change someone's mind and aspire them, you know, to, to make a change and make a difference. So to go after their dreams, that's all you really need. I feel, you know, that's, that's the drive that, that keeps me going. And in, even in when I'm doing intense characters like Malcolm or yeah. stuff that's, that is, you know, um, shows, you know, is presenting a little bit of trauma, you know, you, you just learn to, to to remember who you are, you know, in the in the process. We're still acting at the end of the day, but it's it's very, you know, it's it's very real. And this we 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 treat this with care, you know. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, most definitely. I just want to say very quickly, I saw D Wiz's demise coming. I saw it coming. Me I too. was like, oh boy. <laughs> the moment he opened his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I know, yep, I'm not lasting past the second episode. It's, no, no, no. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, I want to yeah. ask you both again. My site is called Music Movies Thoughts. And if you both could portray any artist any genre, any period of time, past or present, who would it be and why? Who wants to go first? <laughs> um, I, there's so many roles I wanna play. I would, um, I would love to be Cleopatra. I got to be Cleopatra in a Shakespeare play in grad school. I would love to revisit that. She's fierce and crazy. And I would love to be Lena Horne one day. She's like our first black movie star. And I think that's a role that I would love to dive into. I know so many people want to play Lena, but that would be, yeah. I would love to throw my hat in the ring for her. Okay. Okay. And you, Niall? That would be, uh, oh man, there's... <laughs> This is a long list, you know, artist wise, I feel like coming up, like, I remember like after auditioning for like Motown and stuff, I thought it would, I thought it would be Michael Jackson, probably like Michael Jackson. That'd be, that'd be really fun to play because uh -huh. I, I dance and I sing as well. But, um, and, but it would also be really fun to maybe play like an, an, an activist of some sort, like, you know, I know that there's already a Malcolm X movie, but something like that, you know, or you know, even even another musician, yeah. like Ray Charles uh, or, or Stevie Wonder, like I play a little bit of piano, something that would really, you know, a, a challenging role of any sort. It, it could yeah. be anything, to be completely honest. But yeah, those those are a couple off the top of my head. Okay, think, well, yeah. thank you very much uh, for you both indulging me with that question and for your time today. I look forward to letting people know and reviewing the subject. And I thank you again and, you know, Continue blessings to you both. Blessings to you. Thank you, Thomas Andrew. Thank you. Take care. All right.